Well, Janelle Craft's best moment of the fight right there, the last 20 seconds. I don't think it was enough, though. That was ex my exact question. I don't think it was enough. You know, she got the hometown crowd lo loud, but, you know, 20 seconds versus 2 minutes and 40. Let me ask you this, though. Was the last part of the round, and, of course, you hear a lot. It's what the referee or the judges see last. You also have got the crowd. Every time Kraft is throwing a strike, they're getting into it loud. Does that have an effect on the judges? It might. Um, I just think that round was so one-sided. If it was a little bit tighter and, you know, that you know they always call it stealing the round. Well, in order to steal the round, it has to be somewhat Close. even. Right. Uh, I, I do think, though, that Andrea did enough to to earn the 10-9 in that case. But you never know. And here's the takedown by, uh, by Janelle Kraft. But Kaplan was able to reverse quickly. Yeah, I think there was too much damage from the mount versus, uh, you know, 5, 10 seconds of ground and pound. I got to ask you, man, uh, what do you think of the blue tarp? I the like Smurf it. turf here in the NWAFS. The Smurf FS. turf in Boise State. <laughs> you should ask me about that. If they go undefeated, do you put them in the national championship? Yeah, how do you not put them in the national championship? I mean, somebody's going to get screwed, but uh, you know what, Boise? I I'm one of those guys, I'm, you know, I love the big conferences. I'm a big team guy but man I don't know how you tell that team you can't play for a national title and you tell them that twice yeah. because this will be their second year undefeated we'll see they got a big game here this weekend yeah against the top 20 team so but back to the important stuff here yes nice body kick but Andrea was smart enough she caught it and I think she's going to really try to go to work here yeah, if they're in, if Andrew's corner probably told her you lost that second round and you've got to get this one. I would not be surprised if they're even telling her you need to finish. And then we've seen it. We, you know, obviously the athletic commission assigns officials, but John, make no mistake about it, there are some horrendous judges out there. So if you let this thing go to the judges, I mean, it sounds cliche, but it's very true. Anything can happen, and usually does. Yeah, and, and, you know, like you said, 95, 99% of the judges are, are, are perfect and they, they know what they're looking at. Occasionally you get one that... It's just, a moron. Yeah. Yeah. And we've had a couple of we've those. We've had quite a few, unfortunately. And you see it at all levels. You do. I mean, it's, the UFC has uh, some questionable decisions, as I'm sure our, our fans watching will uh, will agree to, but... And that's in every sport, I should say. And there we go. Well, this is the opportunity that Kraft needs to take advantage of right here. She's got to let those hands go. Or, wow, great spell there by Kaplan. Man, she's just very smooth tonight. I mean, Kaplan is on her game. Just a little high on the hips. Could maybe get rolled. Janelle going for a knee bar. And those are legal in the amateur division. Absolutely. Straight ankle locks, knee bars, no heel hooks. As we saw just in Columbus, Brandon Hans. Uh, oh, man. Wicked, wicked ankle lock, or heel hook, excuse me, and it just tore his knee up. Yeah. Billy the Goat Vaughn, who will be fighting for the NAAFS featherweight title with that big win over the X-Man, Brandon Hans. Yeah, and I remember that post-fight interview. He specifically said, I want the best. I want Donnie Walker, and you made it happen. Well, that's what the NAAFS is about, man. And uh, you have to think, uh, Kaplan just dominant right now here in round three. But i got to ask you, man, the winner of that Walker-Vaughn fight in December, uh, do you foresee them potentially... I know Walker was very close to getting a call to, from the WEC before the merger. What do you think? A little tougher now that... Uh, yeah, it's a little tougher that they're merged, but still, I mean, the guys are 45ers, they're 45ers. I wonder if Donnie Walker doesn't have his best chance to get in there at 35. And he's talked about that, actually. I know Jason Den, his trainer, has, uh, has actually mentioned that, so... We'll see some talk of Jason Dent actually going down to 45, so I believe it when I see it, though. I was going to say, we probably <laughs> should have been all along. Yeah, no doubt. Well, that's the end of uh, of the fight here, my friend, and I don't know how you can score it any other way. It's 
maybe you give uh, you give Kraft that second round on that strong finish. I don't. No, and uh, she put up a good fight, but it's clear that Andrea's just a little further along than she is. But there's nothing, I mean, you went the distance with the, somebody that, you know, of her caliber, we know her training partner, so Janelle has no reason to hang her head, and uh, hats off to both these ladies. Absolutely, and after Janelle's first career loss, she came back stronger than ever, so I anticipate the same here, if indeed we are correct, so uh, let's not get ahead of ourselves here. Alrighty. And it looks like we've got a verdict here. Let's send it up to the one and only Jazz and find your winner. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of fighting, we go to the judges' scorecards. All three judges score them out. 30, 27. Your winner by unanimous decision, fighting out of the red corner, Andrea Kaplan. I'm standing here with your winner, Andrea Kaplan. Congratulations, very exciting. Three round fight, what do you got to say? Uh, that was awesome, that was really tough, that was just awesome. <laughs> Greg and I were commenting, you seem to have one direction and that is forward. Let's talk about the striking and then the ground, how you dominated on the ground as well. Um, yeah, I, I mean, I'd rather go forward, obviously. Um, I usually get pressured a lot um, at my camp, so I've had to learn to try really hard to press back. <laughs> Anybody you'd like to thank tonight? I'd like to thank my family. Um, my mom and dad are watching at home. Uh, my son and my brother and his girlfriend, Rebecca, are out here. Uh, my husband stands with me. Pete's coming to corner me uh, tonight. It's awesome. Thanks to Jadis Fight Camp for training me so hard. Love you guys. Well, you came a long way on Thanksgiving Eve, all the way from Philadelphia, Ohio. Give it up for your winner, Andrea Kemp.